Hi everyone. I would like to talk about some basic concepts of mechanics, which is a course offered in first year engineering degree program. At the end of this session, you will be able to understand and analyze these concepts. These concepts are work, energy and power. These three terms are important because they are extensively used in mechanics as well as higher level of engineering. Now let us have a look at what is work. In mechanics, work is said to be done when a force is applied on a body and because of that force, the object moves in the direction of force. Mathematically, we can say work is the product of F and S, where F is force in Newton and S is displacement in meter. Obviously, we can say the unit of work is Newton meter. This is also called as a joule. So, unit of work is joule. Looking at the definition of work, the definition of work in mechanics is different from everyday language. In everyday language, any effort is a work, but in mechanics there must be some displacement, then only there is some work is done. For example, if I lift this pen through a distance, I have done some work, there is some work is done. But if I hold this pen in this stationary position, there is no work is done because there is no displacement. At the same time, this displacement must be in the direction of force. If the displacement is in a different direction, we need to find the component of displacement in the direction of force. Now, let us have a look at the concepts of energy. Energy is nothing but the capacity to do some work, the ability to do some work. If you have more energy, you will be able to do more work. So, it has got also a same unit, that is joule. In mechanics, we will be dealing with two different kinds of energy. They are potential energy and kinetic energy. What is this potential energy? Potential energy is the energy possessed by an object because of its height from the data, because of its position. For example, water stored in a dam, it, has, it is at a height. So it has got some potential energy. We can write expression of potential energy as P is equal to M times G times H, where M is mass in kilogram and G is the acceleration due to gravity and H is the height of the object from the data. In meter. What is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by an object because of its motion, because of its velocity. Any moving object can do some work. That energy associated is called as kinetic energy. For example, a moving train or a moving car, a flowing liquid, 
or have wind. All this has got some energy that is nothing but kinetic energy. The expression for kinetic energy is K is half m b squared, where m is the mass in kilogram and b is velocity in meter per second. Now, let us have a look at the concept of power. Power is nothing but rate of doing work, the time rate of doing work. If it is the amount of work done in unit time. So mathematically we can say power is nothing but W over T, where W is work in joule, and T is the time in seconds. So the unit of power is joule per second, that's called as a watt. So what is the unit of power? Now we will look at one important principle of energy which is called as conservation of energy. This principle of conservation of energy is one of the most far-reaching laws of engineering and science. It is extensively used in uh, energy conversion problems, energy transformation problem. What is this uh, principle? According to this principle, energy cannot be created or destroyed. What we can do is actually we can convert one form of energy into another form. For example, in a hydroelectric power plant, there are so many energy conversions are there. For example, the water stored in a dam just got potential energy while it is flowing through the tunnel. The potential energy is getting converted into kinetic energy. Then this energy is transferred into turbine and generator which produces electricity, which is also another form of energy. So there are series of energy conversion, but there is no creation or production of energy. It's, there is no energy is created, it's just only conversion of one form into another form. Okay, these are the concepts for we have read. Let us have a, a recap. Work is nothing but the product of force and distance. Energy is the capacity to do the work and power is the time rate of doing work. The more explanations and worked out examples can be seen in chapter 22 of the book titled Engineering Mechanics written by R.K. Mullins. To reinforce these concepts, I would like to suggest an activity to compare this potential energy and kinetic energy. You can prepare a comparison chart between potential energy and kinetic energy. You can include uh, things like the definition, examples, what are the factors affecting the values, uh, transferability of the energy, whether it can be transferred from one object to another object and its relationship to external environment. That's all. Thank you for your attention.